welcome to ana prep this is our first video lecture and we'll discuss ratios today so ratios is something that finds application in lots of other topics for example work rate time speed distance etc so before you look at those ensure that your concepts of ratios are strong let's jump in a ratio is a measure of the relation between two quantities it doesn't give the actual value of either of the two quantities it just gives us what is the relation between them right so for example if we know that a is to b let's say weight of a is to weight of b is 4 is to 5 what does this mean it means that for every 4 pounds of a we have 5 pounds of b does that mean that the weight of a is 4 pounds and the weight of b is 5 pounds no it just means that for every 4 pounds of a the weight of b is 5 pounds so for example if a's weight is 40 then b's weight is going to be 50 or if a's weight is 16 then b's weight is going to be 20 yeah the ratios just tell us the relation between the two weights they do not give us the actual weights okay now note that a ratio can be written as a divided by b yeah this is the same as a is to b this notation is quite useful in our calculations and we'll see why now we've discussed that ratios give us the relation between the two quantities right then how do we get the actual quantities that we obtain by something called a multiplier a multiplier is something which converts our ratio terms into actual values right so when i say the uh, weights are 4 is to 5 but what are the actual weights that is what a multiplier will give me so uh, you know the data of the question will give us what the multiplier is and we'll just take a look at one of an, uh, one example right now so given that scores of a and b are in the ratio a is to b let's say a uh, 4 is to 5 so let's say a is to b the scores are 4 is to 5 we don't know what the actual scores are by the way this does not mean that a scored 4 and b scored 5 it just means that for every 4 of a b scored 5 yep so now we are given let's say example one says a scored 40 points we are given the actual points that were scored by a then we are asked how many points did b score so a actually scored 40 points right what this means is that the multiplier the the that element which converts the ratio into the actual values is 10 when we multiply 4 with 10 we get 40 so then the multiplier is the same for the entire ratio so then of uh, will we'll multiply 5 with 10 as well to get the actual score of b which is going to be 50 this is how we use the multiplier to get the actual values now uh, look it's no different from the algebra that we use right so we can say that uh, let's say the score of a is 4x and the score of b is 5x so then we are given that a actually scored 40 points so this means that 4x is equal to 40 and we say x is equal to 10 so then the score of b is going to be 50 it's no different but this method it helps us see it a little more clearly we are visualizing it we not putting down an x we not making equations we not calculating that way so often it turns out to be far faster because we are able to do it in our mind so we'll try and use this instead of this sometimes we might use this and we'll see when this is useful when algebra is useful Uh, okay let's look at another question now again the scores of a and b are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 we are taking that information forward we say this is 4 is to 5 a and b together scored 90 points now the information that we have is that they together scored 90 points okay in ratio terms how many points did they score together a scored 4 and b scored 5 in ratio terms right these are not the actual points so in ratio terms they scored total 9 points then this 9 is actually equal to 90 again this gives us that the multiplier is 10 that is the 9 in ratio terms is equal to actually 90 in actual values so the multiplier is 10 this means that b score we'll obtain by multiplying by 10 and A score we'll obtain by multiplying by ten.
So how many points did A score and how many did B score? So we got that A scored 40 points and B scored 50 points. Okay, great. Let's look at another example. B scored 10 points more than A. Again, we go with the same information first of all that A is to B is 4 is to 5. So we say this is 4 is to 5. Now, B scored 10 points more than A. Okay. First of all, how many points more than A did B score in ratio terms? Since A is 4 and B is 5, we say that B scored 1 point more than A in ratio terms, not actual values, in ratio terms. Now, we are given that this 1 is actually equal to 10. This means, again, that the multiplier is 10. So now... We'll obtain the actual score of B by multiplying by 10 and we'll obtain the actual score of A by multiplying by 10. So we get 40 is the score of A and 50 is the score of B. So basically, different information was given to us in each one of these examples, but they gave us the multiplier in each case. And that is what helped us get the actual values, the actual score of A and the actual score of B. So try to visualize this. You have a ratio given to you and you have some actual value. Now try to get this actual value in ratio terms and that will give you the multiplier. And the moment you have the multiplier, you have all the other actual values, right? Let's take a look at another example. The ratio of the weights of three friends is 13 is to 9 is to 8. So the ratio given to us is 13 is to 9 is to 8. The average weight of the three is 80 pounds. So the actual value given to us is the average of the three. So how do we get the average of three numbers? We add them and then divide by three, right? So then in terms of the ratio, what is the average of these three numbers? We'll add them. So nine, uh, 13 plus 9 plus 8 gives us, us 30. And then divided by 3 gives us 10. So in terms of ratios, the average is 10 of the three numbers. Now we are given that the average weight is 80 pounds. This means this is actually equal to 80 pounds. So what is the multiplier over here? We see that it is 8. To convert from the ratio terms to the actual values, we'll need to multiply each of them by 8. Now what is the weight of the heaviest person? The heaviest person will be the one uh, with the 13 right? Because it is more than 9 and 8. So this will be the person with the maximum weight. Then to get the actual weight of this person, we'll multiply 13 by the multiplier. We get 104 pounds. So the weight of the person actually then, the heaviest person is 104 pounds. Now think about it. If you were to do it using algebra, you would consider this as 13x, 9x, 8x, then add them, then divide by 3, then make it equal to 80, then find x, and then uh, get um, 104 pounds. Uh, it, the process is exactly the same, but it's just that we visualize it so it becomes much faster. In these questions, perhaps we're not saving a whole lot of time, but then later on we'll realize that getting comfortable with this method really helps us. Okay, let's take a look at another example now. The ratio of the number of pencils in a box and the price of each pencil is 5 is to 1. So number is to price of each pencil is 5 is to 1. If the total price of all the pencils in the box is $20. Now the total price. Uh, okay, the total price in terms of ratios will be the number of pencils into the price. So that becomes... 5 over here. They say that this is actually equal to 20. So, well, it seems that our multiplier is 4 over here, which means that perhaps the price of each pencil and uh, the number of pencils are 4 and 20. But note that if the price of each pencil is $4 and we have 20 pencils, then overall the price of these pencils becomes $80. But we are given that the total price of all the pencils is $20. That means there is some problem here, right? That means that this is not correct. Okay, uh, let's try and use algebra. That will help us figure out what is the error we made. So let's say the uh, number of pencils um, in the box and price. So let's say n is equal to 5x and p is equal to x. 
So then the total price of uh, the pencils is going to be 5x into x, which is equal to 5x square. We are given that this 5x square is equal to 20, which means that x square is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2. So note here that a multiplier is actually equal to 2. It is not equal to 4 as we assumed over here. And why is that? That is because these, when we find the total price, then the two terms are multiplied. So then the multipliers are multiplied as well. And this 4 is actually the multiplier square. It is not just the multiplier. When we find the product of the terms over here, then the multiplier is also squared. So that is why we have to keep it in mind that over here, the multiplier is actually 2. It is not 4. If we were to take it as 2, then we would get the number of pencils as 10 and the price of each pencil as 2. And then the total price of the pencils would be 20, which is the correct answer. So then please remember that when we are adding or subtracting terms, then the multiplier doesn't get multiplied by itself. Then the multiplier just gets added or subtracted and it stays M. But then when we are finding the product of the terms, then the multiplier gets multiplied by itself. Similarly, if we were to find the product of three terms, then we would get x cube. So whatever we would get over here, that would be the cube of the multiplier, not just the multiplier, right?